<sighs> Hello. Today's aim is to not get fired. Uh, don't know how that'll go. Couple of things that I did note uh, when editing last video uh, was that one, uh, Carol's picture changed whenever she called. So you could always tell whether it was going to be a good phone call or a bad call, phone call based on what her picture was. There was also the fact that there is no time limit. So I can just take my time, get a call, actually go through all of the entries to figure out what it is that I need to be sending. Also gives me an opportunity to listen to any and all audio files that I want to listen to. And then actually provide an answer that way. There is no time limit. I can take my time. Am I still going to get it wrong? Hopefully. Less. So. <laughs> my brain didn't comprehend the question, like the statement that I was making and the answer that I was giving. Hopefully we have less mistakes. Uh, but knowing me, we are still likely to end up with that something. Something. So... Let's begin. I also misread this. It does not say face setup complete. It says fans setup complete. And I completely, completely misread that. Wednesday. Don't get fired. Okay, we'll wait for that first call. Well, actually, the first call is going to be Carol, giving us access to more entries. And that was my phone, not this phone. Right. Hello, Supervisor Carol here again. Please be sure to read these new entries carefully so you can continue providing our clients with accurate diagnoses. Please remember that this information is strictly confidential and not to be shared with anyone unless pertinent to a caller's needs. Um, we'll wait for that first call, because I guarantee- I knew it! As soon as I was gonna say something- Terrible advice. Uh, and he's just gonna hang up! Dang it, I was hoping for a call that I could just leave there. Because I guarantee you, I will like, go to hit play on this audio sample and we'll get a call. I've seen it, it's huge! Okay, for this one I was pretty sure- Please hold. It was stair slugs. I don't think we got an incorrect like phone call from it, but just because we didn't get an incorrect phone call doesn't mean that it wasn't all like it wasn't also incorrect. So anyway, that bed bugs. There's no sound with bed bugs. Bees. It sounds as I would have expected. Um, black mode. I'm glad the black mold doesn't have a sound. That would be terrifying. A boggit. has a sound? I don't know what sound I was expecting. Carpenter. I don't recall Carpenter Ant having an audio file last time. Cellar group. Cellar group. Common hub. While digestion can take upwards of several years to complete, starvation can be a more pressing concern. 
should a pet or loved one already be encased within, one can utilize a memory wisp to speed up the grieving process. What the heck? So, this is the sound of a false rose bush. Are we ready? Apparently, I can't click right. That was not what I was anticipating. These creatures have two small humanoid feet that they use to chase down prey. Homeowners without children or fets, fets, pets face a reduced risk as they cannot swallow whole anything larger than themselves. Fracture hob, I suspect will make a similar sound to the other hobs we've heard. Frozen pipes. Frozen pipes make a sound. Okay. A gopher. House fly. Spider doesn't have a sound. Lamp Sprite does have a sound. Uh, lamp Sprites will leave on their own once their lamp of choice goes out on its own. At this point, they will attempt to seek out a new lamp. To prevent a lamp, a lamp Sprite from rehoming itself, ensure all household lamps are turned off until the expiration period. When the lamp sprite fails to find an active lamp, it will leave the home on its own. It says that they are not dangerous to humans unless provoked. Do not, under any circumstances, turn off the lamp or attempt to reach your hand inside the lamp while actively in inhabited. My question is, though, is what happens if you just had everyone leave the house, right? You're going on holiday, right? The last time, as you are, like, legitimately about to jump in your car and drive away, why don't you go to your, like, electricity box? and turn off like power to that particular area that the lamp is in and then go on holiday and then and then you're not at risk for the lamp sprite's anger of the lamp going out because you're not the one who turned it off as far as they know memory wisp oh they make a sound this is the one that due to clerical error the audio sample provided above is incorrect and it will be corrected by the end of the month. We're gonna listen to it now. Apparently I still can't click. Okay. Mice. Pipe growth. Pipe hop. Raccoon! Oh, there's no sound for a raccoon. Uh, stair slug, do they make a sound? Tea sprites. Tea sprites are new. Whistling fungi. I remember them having a sound because it was like a whistling. <gasps> what? The whistling fungi sound sounds like whistling. I know. It's like a weird whistle, but that's what I meant. His answer, I am pretty sure, is stair slug. And we're going to submit that. Hey, uh, I've been hearing some really weird noises coming from the bathroom faucet recently. Okay, so this one I was incorrect with yesterday. Please hold. Um... Nothing else seemed to fit, so I'm going to have a quick look at pipe growth, which is that they are a type of fungus that are known for making homes inside damp tube-like structures such as pipes. They often grow slightly larger than the pipes they inhabit and will therefore clog the pipe indefinitely until their removal. They're known to make loud bubbling digestion noises after they eat a full meal. But this doesn't talk about a smell. A pipe hop was incorrect. It also doesn't talk about a smell. Especially because they're cleaning, it wouldn't make sense for there to be a smell. 
<laughs> uh, wood secretions will continue indefinitely. To remove the hazard from a home, the offending wood should be replaced entirely. To prevent wood, to prevent wood from in entering the secretion stage, ensure good, good care is taken towards wood in the home and refrain from scratching, knocking, or banging on wooden surfaces. Do not ever insult or shout at wood. Okay, so this says that the description of frozen pipes are that they are a common household hazard during cold seasons, characterized by the water inside the pipes freezing and expanding, causing stoppages, cracks, and leaks. Homeowners with frozen pipes may report strange faucet smells, banging, and whistling sounds coming from pipes or leakage. That's a possibility because this mentions both like sound and smell. I mean, we could just tell him that it was black mold. All right, so I'm gonna try frozen pipes this time. I spent so much time researching that face. Like if I have to do that for every single call. I'm seriously questioning how much of the screen in front of me is blurry and how much of it is that I didn't put my glasses on this time. So like, uh, the top row, 100% is blurry. Oh, oh, I know what this one is this time. This is a memory wisp. Because I was too hung up on the fact that he was like, my wife, I can't see her face, she's dead. And I was like, crap, he's got a dead body in front of him. No, he's talking about her memory. Oh God, it's oh God. Memory wisp. And if he calls back again saying that we gave him incorrect information, I'm going to be mad because I don't know what it is at that point. Hey, you have mm -hmm. name's Fred Pinball. I love that he calls, but then, like, he, so he's calling to lodge a complaint, right? And then he's like, I've got all these issues. Now, what are you going to do to fix it? And then he hangs up. Like, what do you, what do you mean, what am I going to do to fix it? You're gone. No, so I thought, I think, I think I should still check out bed bugs just in case it wasn't Please bed hold. Ah! Are you kidding me? Bedbugs didn't have an audio sample before. Hang on, do we have audio samples on everything? <gasps> oh, that's not playing. Bees had one. And that just sounds like bees. So I was going to look up as to whether bed bugs was maybe more applicable, but we are going to submit bed teeth. Because he says, my sheets are growing nasty sharp things on them. Hello? I was told to call this number to ask about my problem. Okay, so I do still think that I was correct with thinking that hers was a fracture hub. Please hold. Um, so we're just going to send it. Last week, I called you guys about some weird noises I had coming from my living room. So, first of all, it takes forever for the actual like, transcription to finish after they finish talking. Uh, but second of all, this does sound like he Please has a bug hold. in Oh. So, hang on. Which one says to leave out cream? Yeah, this one says, so it looks like he had a common hob. Right? There were weird noises coming from his living room. The info package said that he probably has a common hob and to leave out a bowl of cream. It doesn't sound like he actually did leave out the bowl of cream. And so it appears that um, metamorphosis, like, has, has occurred because a boggit does cause power outages. So he just might be calling against that because he doesn't believe it. And he's gonna be like, nah, nah, nah. and if that's a complaint against us, sorry dude, but that's on you for not believing the stuff. Oh. I just realized, first of all, woo, we made it through the day. Um, our accuracy is 83.3334%. Um, but 
We were obviously correct. What was wrong then? <laughs> what did I get wrong? <gasps> Science mysteries. Ooh. This looks like science works. The mystery of mice. Is this just really that bad of a video to be on our files right now? This is a mus musculus, a mus otherwise musculus. known as the common house mouse. The funny thing is, is that because of the shape of his ears and the length of his tail, and it actually is giving off like mus bandicoot vibes. Laquentis, Laquentis. Otherwise known as the smart mouse. The a smart newly discovered species known for its uniquely colored iris. I was going to say, look at those eyes. It's increased intelligence. Today's scientists have been able to interpret the previously indecipherable squeaks of a smart mouse and have discovered what seems to be hidden messages within. Let's take a listen. Did we, we turn into a mouse when we there. got fired? Do mice and men have Was that what we were looking at? And the help me is well, fired. I suppose that's what makes this a science mystery. I also just noticed a date down the bottom here. I wasn't even born yet. Alright, so we do have something in our mailbox. Introducing our new office pet. Uh, they're gonna whiskers. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Wasn't that the name of the cat of the chick who had the fracture hob? I have a cat named Whiskers, and sometimes he likes to sharpen his claws at the couch. Please refrain from picking up or feeding Whiskers, as he is still getting to know everyone in the office and have scheduled feeding times. He is going to give off so much orange cat behavior. I swear. I swear. I'm wondering if Mike is also a mouse. Because like you look at this. That's a that's a mouse hole. That is a mouse hole. And I looked at the hands and I thought it was a hob. But that video was talking about smart mouse. Smart smart mouse? Smart smart mice. It was talking about mice that got smart. And we're trying to communicate. And if that was not us when we got fired, I don't know what is. Thursday. That's a really quick to bring up the normally I am like sitting here for ages waiting for that to happen ba -ding. Ba -ding. see Hello. smiles Supervisor smiles Carol here right again. and yet she would have like a serious employee. face if she was firing I'm impressed so far by your dedication to accuracy I <laughs> you already fired me that's an auto lie to more extensive household hazard information do we still have network outages Attic gnome! Oh, that's gonna sound. So this talks about a knocking or rapping sound coming from the ceilings or a surplus of dust coming out of their ventilation systems. I think the map is something wrong with our faucet. Recently I've been having the worst kind of stomach bug, just aches and pains constantly. But after a month, still hasn't gone away, and I'm thinking there's got to be something wrong with the water, because we only eat fresh, homegrown fruits and vegetables here, and we ain't never had any problems until now. Do you have beets? things about rusted pipes and water poisoning and all kinds of terrible things that can happen to the water, so can you just send someone out to get this fixed for us? He doesn't mention beets, but I'm thinking it sounds a bit like beets. Please hold. Um... But anyway, uh, attic gnomes' feeding habits can often be a boon to homeowners as they consume dust, cobwebs, and household pets. Their household pets, such as spiders, in large quantities. However, when frightened, they will violently expel <laughs> their meals, which can send large quantities of dust particulates into the air, causing air quality issues in the household. They are very easily frightened. Uh, it is recommended to dust and clean your attics and ceilings regularly as to avoid giving it a source of food. It will also prevent other attic gnomes from nesting in your home. Cellar Grotto. So 
The cellar grottos are large cave-like networks known to sometimes appear spontaneously in cellars and basements. Uh, they'll often report a bad smell coming from the basement, higher humidity in the home, and a notable increase in large beetles, frogs, and related pests. Cellar grottos can introduce a number of dangerous pests into the home and the heightened humidity they introduce can cause warped floorboards, weakened foundations, and other hazards. They can be removed by finding their creator and presenting them with a gift of gold. Uh, their creator often resides somewhere within the grotto's subter subterranean lake. We got it. Don't ask me to say it again. Uh, for safety, bring spelunking and snorkeling equipment on your excursion or consider using HSH's grotto removal team. Faye flu. I did notice that Faye flu was listed on things for like the um the sprites. I think it was. So it is a rare and dangerous disease commonly spread by household Faye. Uh, it includes headaches, fever, eye discoloration, seeds taking root in skin pores, and blooming floor roots. They require something to wrap around before they will cease their growth. So it is advised to acquire dolls or a similar human shape. Um... Nope, we're not, we're not doing it. I can't. Another similar human shaped thing <laughs> to give them a safer alternative. It's a horde. A laundry gnome. These guys are a subspecies of gnome with thick fiber-like fur. They uh, can fold their bodies into various shapes and often resemble dirty towels. Homeowners with laundry gnomes often report loud rattling or banging sounds coming from their washing machine and missing socks. I feel like that means that everybody has a laundry gnome. Loki thought they were going to say, just outright don't wash your clothes. Go to a laundromat or something. Uh, a night note. They're small hairy creatures with a pointed head. They are known for their tendency to enter the sleeping quarters of humans to watch them while they sleep. Uh, night gnomes will move on to other homes if they become bored or restless by your inhabitants' sleeping activities. There is no guarantee, however, that they will become bored by you if they find your sleep sufficiently entertaining. <laughs> Night whiffs are not dangerous, humans unless listened to, refrain from listening to their whispers and following their directions. Portal! <gasps> He's so pretty! It's a door shaped opening to an outdoor location other than the homeowner's outdoor area. It's discovered most commonly in basements or underground cellars. Uh, they are, homeowners will frequently report cold drafts, strange dreams, and a strong desire to enter. To remove seedlings from a garden, one should not go, uh, should go should not go near their established feeding ground. Instead, one should use a hose, sprinklers, or similar ranged device to overwater and drown out the seedlings from afar. And then the last thing that is new today is a travel gnome. They're known to stow away inside the luggage. The, there was one thing that I wanted to check from him, and I can't remember what it was. Uh, that being said, it does kind of feel like, honestly, I think he's got a false beat because they only eat organic stuff that they grew themselves. Well, that sounds like what his problem is. Ooh. Hello? I followed every instruction your people sent me, but... I'm still getting cracks on my wall. Uh, my daughter is called pest control. And she told me not to call you anymore for help. I'm sorry. Goodbye. Well, that was very sweet uh, for her to call us and let us know. So if it wasn't that, what else could it have been? I was going to say, I didn't think termites... The police told me to call this number, so I, uh, hope I got the right number here. I can see their shadow at night at my window, just staring into the house. 
This does actually Behold. sound like it might be a night gnome. Attic gnome is probably incorrect. Bat is probably incorrect. Bed bugs, bed piece. Bees, black mold, boggit we just had a look at and I don't think it quite fits. Uh, salad grotto is incorrect. Salad growths I think are incorrect. Uh, cockroaches, common hob, desk hob, bay feast, bay flu, false artifact, false beat, false rosebush, floor roof. Fracture Hop, Frozen Pipes, Gopher, The Horde, I don't think it's a Horde, uh, House Fires, House Fly, House Spider, Lamp Sprite, Laundry Gnome, Memory Wisp, Mice, Mirror Nymph, this is the other one that I wanted to have a quick squiz at, uh, Mole, Night Gnome, Night Wisp, oh, is this another one? Um, no, I don't think so, Pipe Growth, Pipe Hob, Portal, Raccoon, Seedling, Stair Slugs, Tea sprite, termites, ticks, toilet hob. I wanted to have a quick look at termites as well. Um, she was talking about cracks in the wall, so I don't know about that. Oh wait, ticks, toilet hob, uh, travel gnome, unicorn, fungi, whistling fungi, wine sprites, wood secretion. I think a night gnome is the best answer that I've got for her. Night gnome. Watch me be wrong. I believe there may be some kind of problem with our home ventilation. There's a couple of different things. Please so the first hold. thing that comes to mind is an attic gnome, considering it's coming from top. I do think that uh, attic gnome is the one that fits the best. I remember there was something in regards to like air quality and ventilation. Um, surprise, surprise, the first thing that comes to mind in regards to air ventilation is black mold. Uh, but I don't think that's quite what she's talking about. Hearing a sound from upstairs. Please help me. They told me to call you. We've got a couple of different things that deal with like young kids. So the thing that comes to mind is because she was tucking him into bed that it sounds like it was the floor roots. Uh, but we are going to quickly double check anything that deals with children. This is the thing that I actually think it might be, uh, which is that they're slow enough and they, um, but however, if not spotted quickly, they're known they are known a strangling hazard for human children and pets while they sleep. See, if you because if you leave a doll by morning, the dolls and roots should be gone. So it does seem to steal. So that's a possibility. I feel like a false rose bush is incorrect. Uh, simply because he was going to sleep. A false beat. Uh, a false artifact. Uh, so. Oh, actually, this might actually, this seems to fit better because they are, so she talks about a messy closet, which means that it would be very easy for a false artifact to appear there and her not notice, but they are known for making a gentle buzzing sound that can only be heard by very young human children or small animals. He was always so concerned about bees and wasps, so if he's heard this in the closet, um, but they are often... Uh, reported with missing children so they're not a direct threat to adult human however they pose a threat to uh, the child so I actually I do actually think that false artifact fits better because of what he was referring about hearing that she doesn't hear I am going to say that it is a false artifact look at me researching <laughs> somewhat about the stability of my new home as well as several pieces of half-eaten cheese littered across the basement floor all right so some things to note several large cracks in the walls specifically of the basement there is half-eaten cheese littered across the floor so he's just recently purchased so the very first thing that i want to check out is the hoard right because it's rotten food he said half-eaten he didn't say rotten Um, actually, Fracture Hob. One moment. It is advised to leave out a slice of any kind of cheese each night before going to bed. What if the previous owners were feeding a Fracture Hob to keep it at bay? And then, because... that Because of the thing about the cheese, that, I, that is why I am going to go with a Fracture Hob without researching the rest. Uh, uh, paper 
Actually, I'm wondering. Please hold. Uh, face. Are you kidding me? Now. Do I guess that this is Faye Flu? Because I couldn't. I can't remember if Faye Flu gives headaches. But I do remember from the picture that maybe that was the thing? So, I'm gonna have to go with Faith Flu because it's the only thing that I can think of and I cannot research this one to prove it correct or incorrect. So this call seems, this one seems, this one sounds fine. The other phone call that came through just sounded warped. You gotta tell me what's going on inside my home, okay? I'm freaking out over here! Okay. I need help. Bad. So, okay, so something has taken his dog that also happens to leave holes. I can't research anything. Oh, nope, we're right, we're right, we're back, we're back, we're back. Okay, floor roots are duh. Well, make any repairs to the floor as needed because of the... Because they are tree-like brown roots that are known to grow upwards from the floor to wrap themselves around various objects or humans in their vicinity. They grow slow enough that they serve uh, very little danger to awaken aware humans. However, if not spotted uh, quickly, they are known they are a known strangely hazard for human children and pets while they sleep. Is it possible? Because it says make any repairs to the floor as needed. So there could be that factor that it's causing like damage to like the floors. Wait, does this say? So, homeowners inflicted with house fires commonly report buzzing sounds and thoughts of decay. Okay. Would it be possible to have, like, floor roots again so soon after the other one? Oh, no, that's right, because the other one we determined wasn't floor roots. The other one we determined to be a false artifact. This is the only thing that makes sense because of all the holes, like, in the floor. Because it's, like, growing slowly and then realising it can't eat anything and so it's coming down. And then after it's gone, that's when they suggest that you repair the floors. No, no, okay. So, hang on. Travel gnomes, right? I remember reading something about uh, forests. So, travel gnomes are highly invasive subspecies of gnomes that are known to stow away inside the luggage of unsuspecting travellers to introduce themselves to new households. She's just gotten back from vacation. Uh, they are found mostly, uh, most commonly in highly forested areas of the globe. She doesn't uh, happen to state where she went on holiday, so no idea about that. They can affect the household in various ways. They will often create expansive gardens inside their new homes, leaving soils, plants, soils? Soil, plants, and common household pests in their wake. These gardens, in addition to introducing a variety of dangerous pests, can also create foundational problems in a home if they continue to grow unabated. Uh, spraying pesticides and weed killer in the home can deter a travel gnome's gardening prospects, at which point it will wait for a new opportunity to travel to a better location. To encourage a travel gnome to relocate, one can invite others to stay at their household and create new opportunities for the travel gnome to stay stow away in visitors' luggage. I think that's it. Travel gnome. And if it's not, fire me now. Actually, please don't. I really don't want to have to repeat this day if I don't have to. Please and thank you. I'm actually, I am actually low-key expecting that phone call now. Like, knowing my luck, the next phone call will be Carol being like, so we've terminated your position. Oh, okay. Well, I got good news and bad news. Bad news is the info you sent wasn't any help at all, so, uh, yeah. okay. thanks for that. What else creates holes in the bloody floor? There's something in my basement it smells mm. like a damn sewer, and I can hear it making this all kinds of horrible noises. It sounds 
or at least like I think it's a There might be a lot of water down there too. Water, I don't know what water. it might be doing has to be. down there, has but I have a feeling be. it's causing a whole lot of damage. Please Probably. send somebody to help with this. I can't deal with something like this. Okay. Probably. Probably. Please hold. A cello grotto. Whoop. Cello grotto. So. <laughs> <laughs> Icky back. And. I would class that a horrible sound. We're gonna commit. Just making sure that I didn't like accidentally click sell up for both. We need to make sure we were indeed sending the correct thing. Oh! Uh, accuracy is 88.88889%. Is this. Is this classing accuracy over the course of the week or over the course of the day? Alrighty, so we don't have any other movies or anything like that. Do not come, oh, okay, do not come to the, oh, do not come to this hole, to the, yeah, to the hole. Uh, the hole is breached, I repeat, the hole is breached. It is not safe here, I must find a new spot, uh, it knows I'm here. Scheduling changes, uh, employee hashtag number 306, not 306, 036, oh, number 36, regarding your schedule this week, due to a shortage of staff available, we will need you to come into work this Saturday and Sunday, thanks for being a team player, rest assured your additional labours will be recognised, that does not indicate that I'm being paid for it, fun, Friday, it looks like a little heart on the eye. Here I was thinking that it was going to be a five day work week and that was it. Uh, that does not seem to be the case. <laughs> Oops. Oh. Alright, what do we have today? Are you just telling me that there's more here. stuff? Thine accuracy continues to impress those of us above and below the soil. I have updated your what? permissions once more. Keep up the great work, employee. Our eyes rest soundly upon thee. What? Um, animation. <gasps> Look at this thing. Uh, animations are uh, are any miniature humanoid figures such as dolls, puppets, and marionettes that are capable of moving on their own. Homeowners with animations mostly uh, most commonly report hearing clattering noises at night or and missing or stolen household objects. Animations are usually not directly dangerous to humans and will continue to ignore them entirely as they go about their business. There were Satan worshippers in my shed. I'm sure I think they were. I mean, my no good teenager haven't joined up with one of those dungeon dragon cults oh. these days because it's okay. been gone for days now and the next thing you know I find a dang tree growing in my shed. The tree is all covered in torn up fabric and some kind of black liquid. Classic satanistic ritual crap I assume. But tell me what I can do to get these godless teens off my property. Okay, this actually sounds like it might be something new. Please hold. Like entirely. So, bear with us. Animation's presence in household may indicate the interest of other potentially dangerous parties. Most animations will depart or collapse on their own after completing their intended function and no further action is needed. If an animation persists for more than a few days in a single location, it may be the sign of more dangerous activity. In these cases, it is advised to call HSH's Pest Removal Service. A Closet Labyrinth. Alright, so Closet Labyrinth. Closet labyrinths are large, twisting networks of tunnels that are known to occasionally appear inside the closets or wardrobes of wealthy homeowners or left behind in homes once owned by the wealthy. If a closet labyrinth is discovered, it is advised to lock or blockade the entrance to prevent accidental entry and diminish the lure of the labyrinth's hidden riches. Riches? Riches? It says riches. But anyway, Dreamweaver. Uh, dream weavers are large spider-like creatures known to weave dreams into reality. They also are known to carry, uh, sorry, they are known to cause nearby humans to only dream about everything being covered in webs. They will only move into a household if no other spiders are present. To remove a dream weaver from a household, homeowners should refrain from sleeping for as long as possible in order to starve the creature and encourage it to find a new home. Dream, we dream weavers will often attempt to induce sleep by ensnaring homeowners and injecting them with a sleep-inducing venom. Do not let them do this. Oh, we've got a sound here. <laughs> so, 
false flat, 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 false flowers are harmless if left to their own devices. However, if homeowners attempt to disrupt or remove them, they will often lash out by spraying a toxic chemical known to cause blindness or loss of sight. Are they not the same thing? Water regularly and try not to notice they're pregnant. They're present ignore their singing they're so their singing would be so cute though like it sounds fine um kobold rain that is ominous as a sound I get it. At first, I was like, is this them trying to attempt to make it sound like your hand, like a hand slipping down, like a wet glass surface um but then uh, but then i was like this actually feels like it sounds like words which doesn't seem to be it but it actually is indeed words um because they are a subspecies of nymphs that are most active during rainstorms they are faint humanoids with a glow in their eyes that often appear near windows and doors asking to be let inside all right so these guys uh, appear similar to pink bars of soap and in, in order to feed off the hands that use them. Uh, they secrete a sud-like substance that is used to digest their meals. Sprig trees are a rapidly growing tree-like organism that take root in a human body. They are known to cause structural damage to a home as they continue to grow, generally reaching their full size in a matter of days. They are known to be uh, caused by the touch of a sprig. Sprig Sprig trees are incredibly deadly to those infected and, while, and will result in death once they have reached a certain size. Anyone near a sprig tree while it's growing in an indoor location is also at risk of injury or death from a structural uh, from the structural damage that it that will occur as it grows. There is no cure for a sprig tree. The infected individual should be quarantined while others occupy the household should have vacated vacate the pre premise immediately do not touch the infected person or the black substance that leaks from under them uh, from them under any circumstances uh, begin looking for a new home and arrange any funeral service as needed for the affected individual uh, it sounds like it it sounds like a sprig tree all right awesome so we are going to suggest that she has a sprig tree although if she's sitting there being like dungeons and dragons it goes bad halt she's not going to believe that information anyway so that's what I'm wondering, if some of the phone calls back being like, oh, you're good for nothing, blah, blah, blah. It's like, how many of those are actually because they just don't believe the information that's being provided to them, as opposed to it actually not being accurate information being provided to them? Hey, I called last week about some noises in my house, and after following the instructions you sent me, they still seem to be happening. I already told you guys what was happening, but, uh... The short story is that every night I'm hearing clattering noises coming from the kitchen. In the morning, I usually check the kitchen for any signs of droppings or whatever, but the place looks spotless. Can you please tell me what's actually happening so I can get some sleep? Alright, what information was he sent last week? Please hold. That is the question, right? Because it does sound like a hob if the things, if the area is clean, but, um, like, when you look at hobs, so toilet hob. Whoa! Hang on, toilet hob. It is not accurate because obviously it resides in the toilet. Uh, we have a pipe hob, which, uh, could it be a pipe hob? Because like, if you listen to this sound. So these guys consume any dirt, grime, and hair in the surrounding areas, cleaning it in the process, right? And so if they're living in the pipes of the kitchen, that seems plausible. It could also be a common hob found on floors and dishes, cleaning them in the process. So like this also seems possible from like a dishes standpoint. So I'm gonna go with common hob because honestly, 
there is not much difference in the information that is provided between a common hob and a pi pipe hob, uh, except for the fact that a pipe hob can cause leakages, obviously coming from the fact that they live in the pipes. He has not reported any of that, um, especially because it's been a week. I would assume that actually common hob is the correct one. Yes, hi. Someone has been breaking into the greenhouse and taunting us with their singing. They could be some insane serial killer, for all we know. Okay, so something that likes the greenhouse and taunts Please the hold. singing. So the only thing that I can think of that, that kind of fits is a false flower. Because it would make sense if they happen to have all of their plants inside of the greenhouse. And so hence that's why... I, but to get multiple break-ins and then hearing the singing would make sense because it's coming from that. That is the only thing that I read that makes sense. So that's what we're going to go with. And it's also possible that people have been given false information, <laughs> false, get it, uh, false information because they're getting someone who doesn't have access to everything, so they're giving the best answer they have possible. Um, hey, Flipper here. I've got two dumbbells that I bought from you that need a good spit shine, uh, spit crud, juice, and the... Uh... Hey, who, who are you? How did you get in? Hey, now, now easy there. Get away. Did they just turn him into a mouse? Did they just... Did they just straight up turn him into a mouse? She's smiling. Hello. We're okay. Supervisor Carol here. I noticed that you've been experiencing regular disruptive calls from a false caller with ulterior motives. I've seen to it that this false caller shall no longer be a blight upon me. Keep up the good work, employee. A blight upon me. What is this language? What is this language? What is with the, 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 the thing? There's, there's some kind of insect in my house and I, I think it may have died. Uh, I saw this okay. big, nasty thing fly in through the window and I haven't been able to find it anywhere, but I, I think maybe it electrocuted itself somewhere because I can smell this awful burning scent throughout okay. the house. Okay. okay, I got it. Can it's a lamp, right? find this thing and get it out of my house? Please I think it's a lamp, hold. right? We're going to reconfirm. Lamp. Network error. I can't reconfirm. It's okay. I'm fairly confident that it's a lamp, right? So, we're gonna roll with it. Oh, wow. it, it took my daughter. It oh, took no. my daughter. She, she's gone. It wrapped its awful tendrils around her and took her down with it. I saw it with my own eyes. Please, send help. The police won't do anything. Send help. Okay, Please so, hold. with her tendrils. So, hang on. Uh, up, 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 up. Four roots wood, brown roots, tendrils. Yeah, look, I'm gonna go with the floor roots, but I'm not confident. And they're like, You're doing such a good job, so if I get a few wrong. Is that really the end of the world? Why has she got no face? It, it, it stole me! It, it stole, stole her me. face! Anymore, also, I'm, also, also! It, 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 it took me! It took okay. me! I can't okay. see myself okay. anymore! I'm gone! Okay. Help me! Help get me back, please! Okay, so... It is 1996. Why do we, A, have such, like, like this photo of her? Aside from the fact that her face is gone because it was stolen, the rest of the image is actually a pretty good quality <laughs> for 1996. Um, but also, how are you getting, like, updated photos? Like, she's calling because they stole her face. How do you have Please a photo hold. of that already on the system? Just saying, Miriam, though. 
I think some homeless or druggies might be in my house because I keep finding used needles, Ooh. cans, metal scrap, and other no, things on my living room carpet. I have children. Look at me remembering this stuff. This is a very serious hazard to their health. I assume that you will send over the proper authorities to deal with this matter promptly. Okay. Please hold. The horde. Okay, if we look at the horde, which I probably should have done before sending. Off Never mind. We're not looking at the horde. I want to catch them on camera so I can finally bust these stupid teens. Is for all it work. a night wisp? We're just gonna go with it. I love how I was just like, yeah, like, look at me, like, remembering everything. Like, look at that picture. I'm sorry, but that does look like flashlights through the window, so. Hey, uh, so, I think I found some kind of door. I feel like maybe I should step through it. Maybe. Yeah, I think, I think I need to go inside. The wind oh. feels so nice. Okay, so I am gonna double check because. Please hold. What? Portal seems like the correct answer, but I just wanna reconfirm. A strong desire to enter. Yep, that's all I needed to move. There's so much to like scroll through now. Although, like, we had the same amount of scroll before with all of those like entries just being like entry inaccessible, but like. Now, for some reason, it feels like we're stro scrolling longer now that those entry inaccessibles have been made accessible. So... I don't know. This might, like, sound strange, but I think there's some kind of, like, squid or something in my bathroom. I'm wondering if it's a soap spray. But, like, that doesn't talk about tendrils. So honestly, a soap sprite seems was a soap sprite soap. Yeah, soap sprite seems to be the thing that fits the most. But even then, again, I am not confident. I wonder if the intention is for you to get stuff out. Oh, our accuracy is 100%. Ah, I was not anticipating that. So I am going to be leaving this one here. However, I do want to quickly check out this stuff so that like when we jump on next we'll just be like diving straight in thunder peak what is this great american hikes brought to you by the home safety hotline thunder peak is this like thunder mountain perhaps not Thunder Peak Trail. Thunder Peak is a straightforward but steep trail consisting mostly of switchbacks leading through a natural cave and finally a short climb up to its pristine peak. Pace yourself as you progress. This both conserves energy and helps you appreciate the scenery around you. That looks like two different seasons between that clip and this one. Be sure to stop and read the info signs littered along the trail. When you see red and yellow lines, it means that you are in a high rockfall area. Travel with caution. Once you've entered the quiet zone, remain completely silent. What about your footsteps? As you approach the cave entrance, remove your hiking boots. Enter the cave. When inside the cave, move carefully and quietly. Do not stop. Follow the lights. Do not stray.
I feel like I'm being sensed and uh, lulled into a false sense of security. If you hear this sound, stay still and unsheath your sword. Jump no, okay. <laughs> Once you exit the cave, put on your boots and gloves for the final climb to the peak. Did you have to carry your boots through? It didn't sound, it sounded like you just took them off and left them at the entrance, but no, I, I suspect you're supposed to take it through. You made it. Now enjoy the view. I love how it's just dead silent and then the music just comes back in as if nothing ever happened. Okay. Well, I'm gonna leave this one here. We shall endeavor into the weekend uh, overtime that feels like it won't be paid at all next time. So that shall be delightful. The schedule for our Spooktober that is up and coming if you are watching this as it is being released is that uh, we have streams over the next couple of days and then we will be back with some more content Thursday and Friday this week. Um, so Thursday will likely be the end of Home Safety Hotline Friday should be the beginning of Luigi's Mansion because I should hopefully have ironed out all of the technical difficulties by that point in time. As always, if you are interested in actually seeing when all of this goes live, you can join the Discord which will be linked down below. Uh, other socials are linked down below as well, like my Instagram, uh, which I am I am also posting on to, uh, posting to every single day with Halloween content, um, or at least stuff that I have picked up whilst also doing my Halloween content. Uh, or picking up Halloween stuff, and yes, aside from that, I shall see you guys next time. Bye!